Hello class, in today's video we will be going over 5 plants that are great at attracting pollinators. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Coming into the first spot, we have yarrow. Yarrow is a perennial flowering plant that goes by many names like Gardaldo, Poor Man's Pepper, and Thousand Leaf. Yarrow can grow to reach more than 3 feet tall during the course of a growing season and it bears an umbrella-like canopy of clustered mini blooms on long slender stems. Plant this herbaceous perennial in the spring and come summer, you'll be graced with little flowers that are perfect for attracting pollinators. Coming into our second spot, we have Cosmos. Cosmos are freely flowering annuals that are easy to grow by sprinkling some seeds in the garden after any danger of frost has passed. These beautiful cottage garden flowers reach full maturity in about two months. Cosmos can be slower to germinate, but it blooms quickly after that and continues to flower through the fall. The flowers sit atop with long slender stems and form a cloud of attractive color all summer that attracts bees, butterflies, and birds to your garden. They come in a broad range of colors with more cultivators developed every year. If you plan to have cosmos and live in the southern U.S., consider keeping them as potted plants since they tend to be invasive there. Next up in our third spot, we have common milkweed. Common milkweed is a native herbaceous perennial that appeals to butterflies, especially the monarch butterfly. Milkweed are the only plant families that serves as the host plant for monarch butterfly egg laying. The monarch larva, the hatching caterpillars, feed exclusively on milkweed leaves. Without milkweed, there can be no monarch butterflies. Common milkweed grows quickly to two to four feet in height. It has a narrow vertical growth habit and thick, long oblong green leaves that grow to about eight inches. The flowers produce warty seed pods, two to four inches long that split when ripe to cast many fine seeds to the wind. In our next spot, we have zinnias. Zinnias are a gift for gardeners in hot climates, where they thrive and grow easily. They are fast-growing, warm-season annual flowers that bloom with minimal care. Zinnias come in bold, hot palette colors, with new ones in introduced yearly. Zinnias flower all summer and often into fall, lasting in the garden from two to five months. Zinnias are most robust during the hot summer and the warmest during the spring and autumn months. Zinnias are one of the few plants that are true annuals, meaning they do not come back every year, but pollinators love them. In our last spot, we have the purple coneflower. Coneflowers are prairie plants, native to eastern North America. They are hardy, drought-tolerant, long-blooming, and cultivated in an ever-widening range of colors. It's hard to find a garden without at least one variety of the bloom, and the best variety of the bloom for attracting pollinators is the purple coneflower. The coneflower's daisy-like blooms are actually made up of several small flowers with petals that are sterile to lure insects toward the many fertile flowers in the central disc or cone. These flowers are rich in nectar and very popular with both bees and butterflies. Hummingbirds also enjoy them too, and birds like finches eat the seeds. So, there you have it. This has been a list of what I think five of the best plants are that attract pollinators. If you like this video and want another list just like this, then let's get this video to 25 likes. As always, this has been Great Grow, and let's reach 500 subs. 